Hello friends, this is Hank from Hank Patty in the Current and welcome to another installment of Deering Instructional Videos. Today we're going to be learning a melodic scale technique that's very useful in improvising and the song example that we will use for this is the Earl Scruggs classic Ground Speed. This particular technique is very useful in improvising over a lot of things but in this case we're going to use it in the A part of Ground Speed. The B part is yours to discover or you can play it how you normally would. If your version of ground speed is just like Earl's, that's great. If you have your own version, that's great too. Either way, this technique will work. I'm going to play my version of ground speed followed by a solo using this technique, and then we'll break it all down. So here's ground speed. solo we have this maneuver here so let's break that down the roll the right hand is essentially just going to play the same thing over and over again and only the left hand modulates so it makes it really easy to kind of slide around and do whatever you need to with it depending on the tune <clears throat> so the roll here is going to be middle first string thumb fifth string index second string middle first string thumb fifth string index second string thumb fifth string index second string so that roll once again is one more time So now when we apply the left hand, pinky will go on the first string 17th fret, middle will go on the second string 15th fret, and index comes up here to the fifth string on the 14th fret. So you have this basic shape. I'm moving my ring finger out of the way so you can see. And you do the roll, which is what it would be like if you just had everything down the whole time. However, what we're going to do with this is modify it so that the last thumb stroke on the fifth string is open, and that's the indicator for when it's time to move so that it can start over again. So if we were going to move from this spot here at 17 to the next spot, which is at the 14th fret here for your pinky and the 12th fret uh, for your index and middle fingers, we're going to modulate from point A to point B using this roll. So it goes. And that's how you move. Whenever that string hits open, that's the time to switch. As you slide down, you can follow the chord changes to ground speed in the A part. And again, all of this follows a, a basic diatonic scale pattern, so no matter what you play, it's going to sound musical because there's music sort of inherently built into it. So to break down the solo very slowly, I'm going to follow the basic contour of the A part of ground speed. I'll do it slowly so it sounds like this.
out, a melodic scale descent on the way out. So the whole thing descends, you go through, you come back, you go through, you go through, you come back until you find your out. So once again, that technique is This solo technique is very useful over a variety of things. It doesn't have to be ground speed. It could be any number of tunes that have a melodic sort of pattern or um, lend themselves to that in a solo. So feel free to use it how you will. This is just one example of many that you can get a lot of enjoyment with out of this easy technique that keeps your left hand more or less the same and your right hand does the same thing over and over again. Enjoy.